Okay, so let's do one of these um, balancing redox equations. Well, this one's already balanced, but it asks how many electrons are transferred in the following reaction? And that reaction is pictured up there. So it's already been balanced for us, so it wants us to go backwards from the balanced equation, okay? So what we're going to do is take this equation and break it back up into its um, uh, reduction and oxidation equations, okay? So hopefully you can see that one of the equations is here, 10 I minuses go to 5 I twos, right? So let's write that one down. So. Okay, and the other one then would be everything else. So 12H plus goes to 2 Okay. So remember when we're doing this, we after we balance all of our um, atoms, right, we want to balance our charges, okay? So on this side of the equation, we've got uh, 10 negative signs, right? And on this side, we have zero negative signs, so to balance it, to get a minus 10 on both sides, we're going to have to add 10 electrons to that side, okay? So now if we look at our charge balance here, we got a minus 2, so 2 times negative 1, so that's going to be overall minus 2. And then 12 times positive 1, so that's going to be overall plus 12, right? So minus 2 plus 12 is going to be minus 10, right? Or plus 10. So we're going to have to add 10 electrons to balance the charges out, because this side is 0 over here. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So, um, uh, what's happening? So, losing electrons here, so that's the oxidation half reaction. And this is the reduction. Not that that matters, but it asks you how many electrons are being transferred? Well, 10 electrons. Okay? Any questions on that one? Okay, pretty straightforward, but you got to go backwards. So.